Hello guys, today I will show you a simple chat room built with Laravel Livewire. I've built that as a part of my Livewire kit, so I started with 20 components and read your suggestions and one of the suggestions was a simple chat room, so it became a 21st component. If you want all components, go to livewirekit.com. But in this video I will show you exactly the chat room and the code and how it works. So for example, you want to chat to another person, it's actually a group chat but in this video I will show two-person chat. And disclaimer, to use Livewire for this thing is pretty risky, because if you do that properly with sockets, with things like Pusher or Socket.io with Laravel Echo, it is sending the data only when the message actually happens. In Livewire case, it refreshes all that messages list every two seconds. Doesn't matter if there is a message or not. So in terms of performance, I wouldn't personally build a big chat on Livewire, but for small projects without too many users, it could be okay. So let's see how it works. As you can see, I've typed something and it immediately refreshes for me, but also in another browser tab, I have another user here with a parameter user ID two. In real life, it probably is auth user, so there shouldn't be any parameter, but for the demo purposes, see, I'm typing it here and in another browser tab it refreshes. As I said, every two seconds it pulls the new messages. How it looks in the code. After installing Laravel Livewire, you do PHP Artisan make Livewire chat in my case. It generated the component, which you call from wherever you want, something like this, Livewire chat. And in my case, I'm passing user ID, but as I said, in real life scenario, it should be authenticated user from the session, from auth. Now, in that component, there's a blade file first, and blade file just shows the messages, and then there's a form to add a new message. And on adding the new message, there's a method called send message. And the magic of refreshing every two seconds happens with one command, wire poll, this one. So if you add wire poll to any of your HTML tags, it will refresh the inner part every two seconds. By default, it is two seconds, but in the live wire documentation, there is a section called polling, and there are a few things how you can customize that. So you can specify the time, how often to poll. Also, you can poll specific action, and also you can poll only in the background when the browser tab is actually active and open. Now let's take a look at the controller, as I call them. Livewire component PHP file. What do we have here? We have user ID. Again, it should be from the session and we have the message text. Design template is relevant because it's for my demo for Livewire kit. The main thing is here. We're getting 10 latest messages, passing them to the blade compact messages. And then whenever the message is sent, we create the message and reset the message text, which means that this input wire model message text becomes empty again. Important part is wire model defer. If you do just wire model, it will ping the server whenever the message text has been changed. So whenever you're typing on every letter or every 150 milliseconds by default, it would ping the server and affect your performance. So that's why you need defer. And that's it. Of course, that chat is really simplified, so it doesn't have notifications when the new message arrived, red messages or emojis or file uploads or other things that we are used to having in live chats. But those features are pretty hard to build. And as I mentioned previously in this video, for bigger projects, for more professional live chat, I probably wouldn't use Laravel Livewire. I would build proper live chat with all the tools that are supposed to work with live chat and live refreshes. And I have a separate article on that from my colleague Modestas. I will link in the description below a tutorial about how to build live chat without Livewire. And my example is for simple projects as most of my Livewire kit components. Again, if you want to have more Livewire examples and components, you can check out my livewirekit.com. And see you guys in other videos.